Hello guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back on footy.com, back with another video for the 2019-20 season, reviewing all the major kits across Europe and some outside the continent as well. And today, uh, myself and Phil are going to review uh, the new away kit, I think, from PSV Eindhoven. Uh, it's Umbro at their crazy uh, best, well not their actual best, because we've seen some more this season from them. Um, but we're going to review this one today, but don't forget if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single kit review throughout this summer, because we all love a little bit of kit news, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. But Phil, what is your take on this PSV shirt? It's a fun one, isn't it? You know, I really like this shirt. I know it you did. ticks all the boxes for me. I mean, if you've watched this channel, you know some of the things we like. We like, obviously, unique designs, good approach to colour, and I really like good sleeves as well. And this does all those all those things. <laughs> Um, I can honestly, see why people would dislike this for it. Yeah, well, but, but, yeah. No, uh, I'm glad on, you bring your, that side. Give I'm, your um, approval first. Yeah, th things I like. We'll start with the pattern on the sleeves. Yes. I think um, it's not just a crazy pattern, although it is quite crazy for Mumbo. Um, but this kind of checked thing is something which PSV do do. Do do. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine, carry on. They, they do it <laughs> the as, a, uh, as a recurring thing. I don't know the origins. It's possible it's the, maybe the flag of Eindhoven, or there must be some connection because they've certainly done it every few years. I keep looking at it if it could do something to do Umbro, but it isn't, is it? No, I, as because far as it looks I know, like it always should be because of the diamond. Exactly, and yeah. Not. But I, I really like it. It reminds me of a lot of 90s kits, particularly Nike when they were starting out. They yes. did loads of really good stuff with sleeves. And honestly, it, it's I think one of my favourite things to do is do something crazy on the sleeves. Um, and the way they've done it, the design itself, yeah. is I think it's really cool. Uh, it's apparently, sort of a, yeah, it's a, a subtle reference to the, the Brabant flag, which is ah, the province of Holland, which Eindhoven Brilliant. is situated. So there's, yeah, it essentially references yeah. the region um, with yeah. the orange colour representing the Netherlands as a whole. The Indeed, orange, as they say. Indeed, um, and there, there's nothing more more Dutch than that colour, is there? You no. think of that? It's very, very Dutch. So even though orange isn't a colour connected particularly with PSG, I, I really like it, and I think. In general, having like a really dark kit with these kind of bright details. Again, I just really like that combo we've seen at one or two kits. I'm going to guess you love the fact that the, uh, the the crests are in orange as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the one thing, obviously, the sponsor is interesting. I wonder, you know. I can't stand that sponsor. It, it's very, it's very Brain basic. <laughs> Brainport. I, I, I mean, I guess it makes a lot more sense it? in, um, in uh, Dutch than it does in English. But Brainport. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> It's, yeah, this, this, it looks a bit film tight less actually. To be fair, I like how they do a little small. Yeah, well, I think something about the font, even though it's nothing, you know, it's not kind of elevating the design, if you like. But it's it's also not a betting sponsor, as far as I know. Yeah. You know, it's that kind of thing. Obviously, if, if Philips was was the sponsor like they had for many years, it'd probably look even better. Yeah, um, but yeah, I think there's something about it, and I think just in general, I really like the fact that it's sort of you know crazy in the sleeves, but then the rest of the shirt, it's not trying to do too much it's very it is quite simple other than the sleeves and it's I really a, like it it's a very fun kit I think I like this as well I think the reason some people wouldn't like it is mm -hmm. because um, I don't I personally don't think it's a nice colour scheme that's the same thing I think yeah. orange and black is just a bit like it doesn't pop yep. enough for me like I feel like yeah. I don't know why I'd enjoy it if it was um, just a little bit more whereas yeah. uh I can, yeah, I can just see other colours popping better. Yeah. I can't really tell much of the texture of the black bit. I think I'm going to presume it's just plain. I'm not as sure there's a texture know, yeah. there because I can't really see yeah, other colours. That's a good question. And I think, I think you, it's interesting about the colour scheme. I, there's not many teams that, that I can think I of that have ever just, had black and orange. Yeah, actually. I just get minor like kind of uh, training top vibes from it. I saw okay. it and I can't yeah. put a finger on why. I, that, no, I can see not, what you're saying. That's not to say that I dislike it, but it yep. just reminds me of a training top more than a football shirt. And it's, okay. it's really strange. And I can't. I also, I think the, low, the, 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 the sponsor just looks a bit odd. But it, it, yeah, I do like it. Mm. I'm just thinking the reasons why people wouldn't. Um, yeah. I can't really see what's going on with the shorts. So it's not that it really matters with the shirt. But um, yeah, it, it looks be, like, I mean, you're very. Very bright orange shorts there, which I, I assume are part of the kit in these press photos. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah, which is bold. I think I think the one thing about a kit like this, it, hopefully it's being be paired with uh, a home kit, which is obviously a bit more traditional. A bit yeah, more kind of course, of, yeah. And I think in that sense you can understand the direction, but I do completely see it's what you're fun, saying. It's, yeah, no, it is fun. Yeah. I totally agree with that. It's obviously got as well um, the club's slogan, which is Indirect Map. Mac, <laughs> which is United oh, yeah. who stand. Uh, Apologies. In, <laughs> someone correct me. I mean, I'm not going to be able to read it correct, but you know what I mean? In, uh, which is on the back of this shirt, um, where it's got obviously, uh, yeah, references to I don't know, its history and all that kind of stuff. What would you improve in this shirt if you could, Bill? Yeah, I think, to be honest, the, the main things that improve would be 
something a sponsor which is a little bit more you know less brain pop yeah just something a bit more interesting I think you know the, <laughs> the thing is we often say sponsors could be better so I feel like a bit of a book yeah, yeah. There. but but that is one thing and I, get on it, so. yeah and I think you know if we're getting really picky and again I'm being picky because I do actually really like this shirt I think the you can't see it very well on there but the collar has this kind of interesting little um, construction but is it, it a little chunky bit like, it's a little like, chunky it's a bit like a sort of trapezium is it the one that's on holes uh, yes, yeah. yeah not, the, we'll, we'll probably review we'll Hall's shirt this later this yeah. week, but um, that has a similar little neck thing. Yeah, and odd. the good thing about this one, it's not as bad as with Hall, where because it was a contrasting colour, it stood out. But essentially, I'd, I'd like to see just to either get rid of it or, or at least, you know, something a bit better, basically. It feels like you an artist. I am not a V-neck kind of guy, but I really think a V-neck would have suited this shirt. I don't know That's why. That's funny, isn't it? Because we, we... I just think it would have yeah, suited... Can yeah. you imagine it just coming down a little bit? A tiny, mm. a, a mild V-neck. Yeah. And then you like the... Um, yeah, just... I think just I think something you might which, with it. Yeah, yeah, I think. And again, when we're talking about constructions of shirts, obviously, you know, these are kind of the final yeah. details. But yeah, I mean, that that's the thing which I think would elevate it. You know, if we're talking about the very best, and I think this is up there. Actually, I think it's yeah. because of the way that it goes on. Like coming down <laughs> yeah. That's just, once again, most people would disagree with that. Well, well it's funny because I think Umbro, with the West Ham shirts, and particularly yeah. the away shirt, basically showed what I think the, the perfect, if you like, uh, shirt is so I think if anything the answer is in the main backyard um, yeah. I do think this is at least for me personally one of my favourites okay uh, well this is the bit before. where we um, give it a score and as you can see on the screen next to me here mm. uh, we've got all our kit rankings so far this season the West Ham's away kit is the current high runner there it's the first from the Eredivisie. Divisie we've got Lowe's there obviously Farm to Juventus propping up the table and then a bunch of great kits around the 80s Roma IX West Ham and absolutely loads more this is I'm going to try and guess Phil's score <laughs> I this could be yeah well I can't okay, I won't say like anything because I you've got a number in your head I've already. I've got a number in my head, and you've been very accurate. I'm going to go out and say that you might. Well, no, let, let me see what you say. What are you thinking? I I've think you're going to give this an 86. Oh no, uh, quite a bit higher, and this is probably really? not personal personal bias. Okay, it, believe it or not, it's actually going to be uh, second place at 91. Wow, uh, I really do like this. Now, this is, you like it a lot more than I do. I do like it a lot more, and Roma's kit's well nicer. That's think, very much preference. Well, I think this is the thing. This is obviously these scores are my personal scores, um, <laughs> and I think if you averaged it out between our scores, yeah, yeah. you know, I'd, I'd still kind of say that was a good score. But honestly, oh, yeah, I think no, right. that'd be when I that'd be what. At 88 or something yeah and I'm not gonna I was lie. guessing what you would give it or not I would give it sure I would give it about oh so you would give it a bit lower I'd probably give it about an 80, 84 right. something like that 83 so, yeah. it's a good shirt but and, and I must say obviously it, it, I, I try and do these races essentially they're which shirts I like and actually when I think about it I would I'd take this over the Milan shirt as much as I like the yeah, Milan shirt so bold call but it's your call it's a bold call but um, no, I, start, do, I do think carry on as you mean to go on basically indeed so. and um, I mean looking at that just quickly again yeah Umbro was Second so far shirt. one and two um, and Puma there at three <laughs> so yeah Umbro loving you at the moment aren't yeah. they uh, anyway that is Phil's score for that one that's our score on 40.com let us know if you agree or disagree in the comments below with that video make sure you hit the subscribe button we've got a video coming tomorrow possibly about the Calatasaray shirt because that's just been announced as we're recording this video we might do Hall later this week as well if enough of you want to see that but you know if you want to see the uh, whole city review the reason we're doing Hall by the way is just because it's a mad kit it's got like a tiger pattern and stuff and all that yep. if you want to see that let us know in the comments below and we'll crack it out later this week for now make sure you subscribe let us know in the comments what you think of this shirt and we'll see you very soon Bye.